A few years ago, the National Opinion Research Center did a survey of over 3,000 Americans. The question they asked them was, what are the three most welcome words that anybody can say to you? What makes you feel best? What three words are you happy to hear from anybody? And I think you might be thinking three words, but that wasn't what the Americans in the survey said. They did not say the most pleasant three words are, I love you. They said the most pleasant three words were, you've lost weight. Americans love to hear people tell them that, you've lost weight. I can identify with that because in my lifetime, I have lost 1,122 pounds. Unfortunately, I've gained 1,172 pounds. We know what it is with our bodies, that if we bring nourishment, if we bring nutrition, if we bring food in, our bodies grow, sometimes too much. This past Sunday, we celebrated the Feast of Corpus Christi, that's Latin for the body of Christ. And in Catholic Christian theology, the body of Christ has three meanings. The first meaning is the body of Jesus himself, the son of Joseph and Mary. The word made flesh, God become incarnate to live with us, lived and walked on the earth as a human being in all things but sin for 33 years, suffered, died, was buried, rose from the dead, and was ascended into heaven. That body of Jesus is the body of Christ. But also, he gave to us for our nourishment and our spiritual sustenance, his own body and blood in the Eucharist, what we call Holy Communion, under the forms of bread and wine. The actual body and blood of Jesus is present. Divinity and humanity, body and blood, soul and body, that's the body of Christ as well. But the final meaning of the body of Christ is all of the baptized. All of God's family, all of God's people taken together in community are also the body of Christ. The body of Christ is like our own bodies. Fed well, nourished well, it grows and is healthy. Starve it and it fades away. We're coming at the end of more than a year of being separated from the body of Christ, the community, at our Sunday celebrations. Because of COVID, we've not been able to gather on the Lord's Day the way we had at will, voluntarily, freely, joyfully in the past. And because we couldn't do that in person, a lot of us were deprived of the body of Christ in the Eucharist to bring us individual nourishment and sustenance. And so we've lost a bit of our intimate relationship with Jesus himself, the incarnate son. So now that we're coming out of the COVID pandemic, I ask everyone to think about nourishing the body of Christ. First and foremost, please come back to church. Please come back so we can gather as God's family see one another, hug one another, support one another physically. And the body of Christ will grow again as more and more people come into our churches. Secondly, I ask that you receive the Eucharist under the forms of bread and wine. Receive Holy Communion, the body of Christ. And if there's something holding you back from receiving it, if you're not in the proper disposition, if you need forgiveness of serious sin, please go to confession. Receive absolution so that you're in a proper disposition. If you are in a situation such as divorce and remarriage or some other public situation, please contact the priest and say, help me find my way back to the community, to the body of Christ in the church. Help me find the way to receive the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. And as we do this, as the body gets nourished and grows, that Jesus who walked the earth will walk the earth again, enshrined in our bodies. As we receive Holy Communion, as we gather in the assembly at the Mass, and as we go about our daily lives, 
the body of Christ can get fat and sassy again in a good way, not a bad way. We may have lost weight during this COVID panic. Now's the time to put it back on. Welcome all back to all three of the theological bodies of Christ, so that by our acts and attitudes, thoughts, words, and deeds, we may show the world that we give honor, praise, and glory now and forever. Amen.